it may happen that mesh analysis may give you answer but after doing lots of calculations meaning it is restricted up to three loops only because whenever we use a calculator we can get an answer of simultaneous equations having three variables now nodal analysis is the best solution for that how let's see a problem so in this circuit we have taken lots of sources and lots of resistances so let's take this voltage source of 60 volt this voltage source of 12 volt current source 0.6 ampere and so many resistances are connected let's give value to them so 20 20 this is also 20 ohm and let's check these are 50 50 one more 50 ohm and this resistance is 100 ohm objective is to find out voltage across 100 ohm resistance suppose I ask you apply mesh analysis it will be a bit complicated because if we count number of loops 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 loops are there. 6 variables you will get. Worst to worst case, you can reduce this into a 1, but still, number of loops will be more than 3. So, mesh analysis may not give you answer quickly, easily. For that, nodal is the best option. See how. Though the problem is looking complicated, lengthy, but still, Nodal analysis will give you answer in less number of steps. Let's see how. So I will consider this as a node 1. V1 because 1, 2, 3, 4 branches are connected. Here, this is node 2, V2. It's a potential of node 2. And third node is V3. Whose potential I consider as V3. And here, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 branches are connected. So, better I take this as a reference node. Having a voltage 0. So, in this problem, it is better if I choose a technique nodal analysis. So, let's solve the problem by nodal analysis only. Now, let's mark all branch currents. Here current source is given so I will keep the direction same as the current source for this branch and for remaining I choose random directions. One more advantage in this problem as far as nodal is concerned. See the advantage is between node 1 and reference only voltage source is present so our work has been reduced by 3 because one equation I will directly get V1 equal to 60. So this is the strength of nodal anal analysis. So V1 equal to 60 is equation number 1. No need to apply KCL at node 1. Let's apply KCL at node 2. At node 2, let's count how many branches are there first. So 1, to see this entire thing is a node it is a stretch node so for this node I am having one two three four branches are connected out of that these two are incoming currents and remaining two are outgoing currents so for this 20 ohm term will be V1 minus V2 divided by 20 plus one more incoming current, 0.6 ampere current source directly given. So I can write plus 0.6 equal to outgoing currents. Here, for this branch, it has started at 2, ending on reference. So simple equation is V2 minus 0 divided by 20. Plus, for this branch current, started at 2, ending on 3. 
V2 minus V3 divided by 20. So let's rearrange the terms. So V1 1 by 20 plus V2 coefficients are minus 1 by 20. If I take these terms on this side of equation, I will get one more minus 1 by 20 and minus 1 by 20 once again plus v3 1 by 20 equal to the only constant is 0.6 on this side if I take to other side of equation it will be minus 0.6 so this will be equation number 2 similar way I can apply KCL at node 3 So let's go back to the original circuit. So at node 3, 1, 2, 3, 4 branches are connected. So current like this, for this branch it is incoming. So at node 3, 2 branches are of incoming currents and 2 branches are of outgoing currents. So let's write the equation for incoming currents. It is V1 minus V3 divided by 50 plus V2 minus V3 divided by 20 equal to V3 minus 0 divided by 100 plus now see for this branch it has started at third node ending on reference and in a direction of current that I have assumed I am having a voltage drop because it is changing from plus to minus in a direction of current. So, I will write V3 minus 0 minus 12 divided by resistance of this branch which is 50. So, let's rearrange the terms. So, V1 coefficient is 1 by 50. V2 coefficient is 1 by 20. V3, there are coefficients minus 1 by 50, minus 1 by 20, minus 1 by 100, and minus 1 by 50 once again. Equal to constant, so only constant that will be there on another side of equation is minus 12 by 50. This will be equation number 3. So after solving equations 1, 2 and 3, I can get V1 as 60 volt, V2 equal to 34.56 volt and V3 I will get equal to 31.68 volt. We have been asked to find out a voltage between 100 ohm resistance. So for 100 ohm resistance, the voltage is V3 minus 0 or simply I can say V3. So my final answer, voltage of 100 ohm resistance is same as V3 which we have already calculated 31.68 volt. So we have considered a numerical having so many voltage sources, current sources and resistances where more than three loops are there. So mesh analysis may be a lengthy and tedious process. But by using nodal analysis, same problem can be solved very easily with less number of steps. In subsequent videos, we will solve more numericals based on nodal analysis. Thank you.